Hi everyone, so yay, finally I've got my YouTube channel, this is something I have been thinking about for a while, so I will be able to review products and show you the results and show you the products in a much you know, quicker, maybe nicer or more personal way than the, what I have been doing in my blog. I, I will still keep you know, um, uploading reviews to my blog, but I thought you know, I could show things to you um, through camera as well. So some questions that I have been receiving lately are related to hair. You know, how to take care of your hair, hair straighteners, hair products. Maybe because I just, you know, love to review hair products. But anyway, um, so recently I got a new hair straightener and it's the Shine Therapy by Remington. I, in fact, I have it here. Yes. Okay, so this it is. And this is something I have already reviewed in my blog. But I thought about showing it to you now because I promised that I would give you photos. But my friend, who is the one who is my official photographer, um, she hasn't been able to take photos of me. And I don't know, every time I, we were getting together, my hair was not picture perfect. So I was like, no, we're not taking a photo today. <laughs> so now you can see the results. This is what my hair looks like when I use this straightener. It looks very soft and shiny. Uh, it lasts. It holds in my hair for quite a long time. Like I straightened my hair yesterday and still looks great, I think. At least it feels great. <laughs> so um, so basically what I like about this hair straightener is, first of all, that the plates are actually very nice. The glide is very good. It doesn't tag at your hair at any point. It feels like it just, it's very soft in your hair. And also, you know, you have this sort of lock it usually comes with you know good quality straighteners so it has this lock so no matter how much I press here it's going to be fine they promise cool tips so you can press here which I don't really feel like I need to press but I would say it is cold enough definitely <coughs> sorry I woke up with a really sore throat anyway the tips are definitely cool enough to touch it it's not like those hair straighteners that say oh it's going to be cool and you're burning yourself. Now, when you have been using it for quite a while, you will notice that this part, you know, the sides of the plate, they do get quite hurt. I mean, you can touch them without burning, but if you touch them for longer than a couple of seconds, maybe you'll start to feel like it's really, really hot. That usually happens when you're using it for, you know, for quite a while. Also, it switches itself off after one hour so that's also very good because well first of all it gives you an idea of how much time it's been since you started <laughs> to style your hair but also because you know it doesn't ever get overheated and that's very good so that's that when it comes to the hair straightener uh, I would definitely recommend it definitely get it and also be very careful when you're straightening your hair that's one piece of advice I could give. Um, I've seen that many people try to use a, a brush while, while straightening the hair. So basically, what they do is they they put the brush and then follow the brush. What I try to do is to use a brush that basically has very very close uh, and, and very very small bristles. So when I go through it, every single hair is aligned. So basically, I don't clump any hair that is in this position. Let's say. So that's very good. And um, also something that is very important, and I talked to you about in my blog, but I just want to highlight the importance of it, is to use a good hair mask every single time that you can, basically. And the hair mask that I've become obsessed with <laughs> lately is this one. I don't know if you can see that over here, maybe. <laughs> okay, this is the one, it's in Spanish, I know. It's basically the one from L'Oreal that comes with um, some sort of honey thing. The smell is very good. I really didn't like it at the beginning, but then I, I don't know, it sort of grew on me, and now it's it's quite nice. It's it's yellowish, so it looks like butter, basically. It has a very good consistency. It, as you can see, you know, it doesn't <laughs> fall, it's not runny or anything. So it's, it's rather creamy. It feels really nice when you put it on your hair after you shampoo. 
So basically what I do is I shampoo my hair, rinse it out and um, I apply this product basically to the tips of my hair and then with you know anything that remains in my hand I just put a loafer. And this has made my hair so so soft which basically was not happening if I was not using it. It was soft. But this is silky soft, it's a whole new level, and I love that. Um, also, I have received many questions about oh, what can I do for my hair not to get frizzy and to grow huge. I have that problem, my hair grows huge. I am not the kind of person who is impressed when people say, oh, let's get big hair. I have naturally big hair, so I sort of stay away from products that, you know, say volume things like that. I, I do stay miles away from that. I don't mind having, you know, a little bit of mm in the hair, but volume, no. <laughs> well, um, so what I use basically to keep volume at bay is um, the Freeze Ease Serum by John Frieda. And this product is a miracle worker. What you just have to do is you have to use a very small amount because it's very concentrated. And it's a very tiny, bo very tiny bottle. I don't have it with me at the moment. But what I do is I just put a couple of drops in my hand. A cup, you know, one drop, a drop and a half. Depends how I feel that day. If I feel like it's going to be, you know, bad hair day, I just, <laughs> I put two. But anyway, I just rub it in my hands and it heats up. It heats up in my hands. And then I just start putting it on my hair like this. Basically, obviously concentrated on the ends because it sort of seals also the hair. So I concentrate on the ends and then work my way up. Never apply it to the to the roots. Never. <laughs> I I don't think that is a very good thing to do because it you know can get your hair oily. And I have dry hair, and if I do that, it gets oily. So you can imagine how bad it would be if you apply it on the roots. Never do that. Yeah, just keep it. You know, basically from here down and that's going to give you really good hair um, you just you know you just dry it with you know you blow dry and then straighten if you want and hair is left shiny with no freeze it's very good I really like it so I hope you enjoyed the first video for my YouTube channel I don't think I forgot anything if you have any questions any comments any suggestions I would love to hear what you have to say about that finally I'm um, showing you who I am and that I'm here. So <laughs> if you like the YouTube videos, uh, let me know what kind of videos are you expecting. I know that many of my followers um, speak Spanish, so I'll try to alternate, you know, some videos in English, some videos in Spanish, so hopefully I can sort of cover everything. But yeah, just um, let me know what you would like to hear about, if you have any questions, if you would like me to do any tags so yeah let me know and oh I also have to tell you something this is also my entry for your time to shine which is um, a contest that S Walker Makeup has started she's a youtuber and basically what it entails is that you make a video and send it as a video response to well obviously the contest video and whoever wins gets one week of exposure or let's say attention in her channel and that basically sort of introduces you in you know to the whole YouTube community which is it's really good I really like the prize I love her channel I'm really happy that she made something like that which is I think something new youtubers are looking for okay so that, that, that's about it and I'll see you guys at some other point so bye